He's never held a UFC title, but he has every other record he would like to have in the UFC. Most wins, most finishes. He is the perennial contender, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And this recent form he has shown since becoming a father, arguably the best of his story career. The very best Donald Cerrone we've ever seen. And the reason he has so many records is because, is because he's a guy that really embodies the term anybody, anywhere. You bring an octagon. Put it in the middle of an arena uh -huh. and invite Donald Cerrone. He will show up and he will give you a fantastic performance. Donald Cerrone is every man's favorite fighter and rightfully so. When he has faced adversity in his career, he has come through with flying colors. See the win over Yancey Medeiros that stopped a skid. Donald Cerrone with momentum back on the proving ground here tonight. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Khabib Nurmagomedov, he's a guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do now. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is gonna look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 17 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out for You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. All right, so a nice shot there defensively. Wow! Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Nice punch, man. Oh, and now the underhook, he's 
position. He's got the under. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, big knee to the body. How did he get that one off? Now goes in and secures the takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know no when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Ninety seconds to go now. How fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up with the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. I mean, how many can he take? Gets up again here, but hurt. So 40 total strikes have landed for Donald Cowboys. Great punch. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Cool, tagged him with the uppercut. Four seconds for the end of round one. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Round two is here. Khabib Nurmagomedov. Ready? Donald Cowboy go, Cerrone. Go. Cerrone's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Lands it right hand, lands upstairs. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. These are unofficial, but 61 total strikes have landed for Donald Swift. And connecting in a pretty good clip thus far, 66% the accuracy rate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Man, is he tight. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Boy, Thai Plum. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Ground and pound strike there now. Cerrone gets up. He is back on the feet here. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Single collar tie now. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So fighter a little bit stunned. Oh! oh so Back to the feet. All right, he'll 
engage in a single collar tie. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Nice hammer fist. Round three next. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Are right, you ready? You ready? Let's go, fight! Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Cowboy Cerrone. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrawls. Oh, is he an active pursuer of the submission? He's attacking hard bar now. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. This might just be a matter of time. Great job executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 52 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar.